So thank you all for being here. I'm actually going to start by telling the story of my worst speaking experience ever. And I've told this story a couple times, so if you follow my work, you may have heard it. But it's a very, I think, an important place to start. So this was about five or six years ago, and I got an invitation to speak at a luncheon at a country club. And it was a huge deal for me because it was the first time I'd ever been asked to speak to the public, what I call normal people, as opposed to other academics and researchers, who I do not refer to as normal people. Um, <laughs> and so I was really excited. So I get to the country club. I get all dressed up in my, this is like this, um, dressed up. <laughs> and fancy clogs, and I get there, and there's a woman standing behind the podium kind of sorting things out. She has on a very expensive St. John's suit. She has her hair pulled back in a bun that was so tight that I was surprised that she could breathe, um, and she was very fastidious looking. I knew immediately that she was the person running the show, so I walked up and I said, hi, I'm Brene Brown from the University of Houston, and she didn't even extend her hand. She just kind of stepped back and went like this. And she said, you don't look like a researcher. <laughs> and of course, my thought is like, I should have worn a white coat um, or something. <laughs> and so I said, no, I am. I'm from the University of Houston. And she said, do you have your bio? I'll need to introduce you when the crowd gets here. And I said, sure. So I handed her my bio. She sets it on the podium. She puts her reading glasses on. She, this is exactly what she did. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I thought, did I just like print out an email or something? And like, like, what did I, which, we're gonna spend a lot of time together. You'll know that that is way in the realm of possibility. So I was like, what did I hand her? And she turned to me and she said, this bio says that you study shame. Just the way she was speaking to me. And we'll talk about this a lot over the sessions. Immediately, I was small. And immediately, I was 10. You know, and so when she said that, my response was, yes, ma'am, I study shame. <laughs> and she said, I was told that you study how to be beautiful and successful. <laughs> <laughs> my first thought is, holy shit. Um, <laughs> and I said, no, ma'am, I don't. I study the things that get in the way of feeling like we're enough. And she said, what else do you study? Do you study anything else besides shame? <laughs> and this is where I knew it was going to get really ugly, because I said, yes, ma'am, fear and vulnerability. <laughs> so she grabs the bio off the podium, and she said, I'll be back in just a minute. This is just not acceptable. So she walks out of the room and walks outside and is pacing, I know, because the whole back of this ballroom is glass, and I can see her pacing. So she comes back, and she says, she puts a bio on the podium, and she said, let me tell you exactly how this is going to go today. And of course, I say, yes, ma'am. And she said, there will be no mention of the word shame. She said, first of all, people will be eating, which is like the first time I ever thought my work makes people barf, you know? Um, <laughs> We can't do it while we're eating. And she said, secondly, no one's interested in tough topics. People love how to, how to be beautiful, how to be successful, how to be popular. So I said, well, I can't really do that. She, yes, you will do that. You will talk about how to be happy. That's what I thought you were going to do, and that's what I've told everybody. <laughs> so, yes, it's that funny. It's... <laughs> so for an hour, I stood behind a podium with like 300 people eating, going like this. Happy is incredibly important. <laughs> to be happy is equally important. <laughs> to feel, that's all I could say for an hour. Well, a lot of polite people went. And what was funny about this experience to me is something that was life-changing, actually. It was horrific, and I cried the whole way home. I cried because I think, I looked like a crazy person, but I also cried because why didn't I just say, hey, this is what I do?